In our area, the Muslim community in South Philadelphia wants vandalism at a mosque to be investigated as a hate crime. CBS Philadelphia's Marcella Bayetto shares how leaders believe the incident is part of a rise in anti-Muslim feelings since the attack in Israel. This video captured by a corner store surveillance camera shows a man using a marker to vandalize walls along Point Breeze Avenue early on Thursday. He then makes his way further down the street to the United Muslim Islamic Center, leaving several phrases on windows and doors. We know it was directed at, this, at, at our faith because of the things that were written on the building. The center's president, Qasem Rashad, had the vandalism removed, but he noticed versions of those same phrases on a different building across the street. He says these acts are becoming more common ever since the start of the war in Israel. There's a lot of high tension within the community, a lot of anti-Islamic, anti-Semitic rhetoric going around. The mosque reported the incident to the Council on American Islamic Relations of Philadelphia. The civil rights organization is pushing for the act to be investigated as a hate crime. All mosques, all synagogues, churches, houses of worship should be safe from any threats, should be safe to worship as, as, as they do. And this value should be non-negotiable. For anyone, even at times of tension and times of conflict. Even though the vandalism came just a day before the mosque's weekly Friday prayer session, community leaders say they are not standing down. This is the time for us to step up and to be on the side of you know our friends, our family, from whichever background they might be coming in. According to police, this investigation is still active. They have not yet confirmed whether they are investigating this as a hate crime. In South Philly, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia.